Today, we're gonna to be taking this, a one ounce platinum eagle, pure platinum coin, and turning it into a coin ring. It's gonna be a quick one today, guys, so let's get right into it. The very first thing we need to do with the coin ring is cut a hole in the center of it. And for that, we're gonna be using the Jason's Works Auto Punch. Now once the hole is cut, we've got to deburr it. And deburring is going to make sure we're not going to split this guy. And once we have it deburred, we're going to take our 120 grit sandpaper and then sand the cut edge that we just created. Make sure there's no rough edges at all. And what we would normally do up to this point would be anneal, and that's going to be softening the metal. But with pure coins like platinum and silver, even gold ones, I don't like to anneal because I wanna make sure that they get work hardened enough in the process. We're gonna go straight into folding it into a cone shape. And what we're gonna be using for that are the 17 degree dies from Jason's Works. So now that we have a nice folded ring, we're gonna skip annealing again and go straight to Swedish wrapping. And what Swedish wrapping is, is it takes larger coins and shrinks them into a much smaller size so we can make the ring sizes we're looking for. Today we're going for a size 11 and a half on this ring. So it only needs to be Swedish wrapped a little bit. Now that we're done Swedish wrapping, we're gonna go straight into stretching it two and a half sizes larger than our target size. That'll give us enough room to shrink it back down and make a nice curved ring when we're finished. Now that it's stretched, we're going to be reducing it in our 17 degree dies right to our target size. And then once we're done getting it right to our target size, we're going to switch to our 25 degree dies and then finish the folding process. We've gone a size below our target size, we'll make the other side match, and then we will start to deburr that coin edge inside the coin ring. That coin edge is really important to remove with the deburring tool because it's extremely uncomfortable to wear if you don't do it. Now that we're finished with all of that, it's time to finish the ring. And what I like to do is finish it with a Shia LaBeouf. And these are just muslin buffs, and I use green rouge with them. And with platinum, it's really important. High speed and lots of rouge, and you'll get a really nice finish. All right, now that we're finished with that, we'll throw in the ultrasonic, clean all the rouge off of it and then give it a quick steam and we're done all right guys here's the finished result i can't believe i've gone this long with the coin ring channel and i haven't done a platinum eagle all right guys thank you for watching and make sure you guys stay tuned i'm going to be retooling my other youtube channel and i'm going to be starting a completely new channel because i've noticed that when I do fine jewelry and we learn about fine jewelry on this channel, it's not as well received. <laughs> so we're gonna retool the other channel to do just fine jewelry. It's gonna be called Sojourn Fine Jewelry. 
Thank you guys for watching another video. Thank you for also considering subscribing to my other channel. I'm sure you won't be disappointed if you do. All right, guys, make sure you check out my website, changeyoucanwear.net, for all the jewelry that I make. And I will catch you guys on the next one.